Hi. In the last session, we talked about some of the real life use cases of intelligent features in the OpenRAN system. Now we will talk about the cloud platforms for the deployment of OpenRAN. In the traditional network system, the resources and the capacity are very specific to the cell or site. The problem with this type of system is that if the cell is underutilized, then the resources in the cell or site will be wasted and if the traffic on the cell or site is high, then it will require the addition of more capacity and hardware to the specific site, which also needs more time and cost to integrate. However, in OpenRAN, we use cloudification and uses native cloud systems for the resources, where all the resources are available in the central pool and gets allocated to the cells or site based on their demand and needs. This means based on the present demands, the capacity of the cells and sites will scale up and scale down. By this approach, the resource uses gets more efficient and the wastage of resources gets reduced. And that can happen in the present time condition because the traffic is not consistent throughout the day like cells and sites in the commercial or office areas that is more traffic in the daytime. However, residential area may take more traffic in the off working hours. In case of any public event, the sites near that event will carry more traffic during the event compared to the other time. So in all such conditions, cloudification and cloud native networks can automatically reshuffle the resources between the connected cells and sites. These we call O-Cloud platforms and these O-Cloud platforms can be deployed at different stages of systems like they can be deployed at the S or the regional label. The mean of edge level is generally within 20 km from the cell. Means in the edge cloud, central unit and the distribution unit can be placed within the 20 km from the cell area. If you are deploying the O-Cloud within 200 km from the cell or the site area, then this we generally call regional cloud. We put radio intelligent controllers in the regional cloud. Here in the screen, you can see the overview of cloud platform in the open RAN network system. In the left, you can see the traditional network system for LTE. So here is the radio unit at the site, which is connected to the property BBU baseband unit. They are connected through the convention front hall called as CIPRI. All the layer functionalities of the OSI model from L1 to L3 are being handled by the baseband unit here. Because this is traditional network system, hence the hardware and software functions can only work together. Hence, to move the functionalities to the open end systems, these hardware and software combination needs to be decoupled so that telcos and operators can use the general purpose hardware for computing, processing, storage and networking. These hardware systems in the open end are not proprietary to any vendor or suppliers. Operators just needed some hardware which have general elements for computing, storage and networking which they can procure from any hardware supplier and they can put some open operating systems on top of that like Linux. They can also use the containers in case the cloud native networks is deployed in the network or alternatively virtual machines can be used. Now the centralized unit and the distribution unit can use the same hardware through the virtualization and hypervisor and on top of that orchestrator like Kubernetes can manage those multiple containers or VMs. Now, once this virtualization is done and sites is integrated in the cloud, then the units in the traditional RAN system like PPU can be replaced by the ODUs and OCUs and now RIC will also integrate in the system. As we said that these functions can be placed at the edge location which is within the 20 km from the cell area or at the regional location which is under 200 km from the cell area and all the resources are available in the pool at edge location or regional location and the capacity of cells will be allocated to them from this pool for their specific need in the current environment. In the next session, we will be talking about the network function virtualization and orchestration deployment. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.